Hi guys, welcome to the FM Recruiter and in this episode today, I'm going to show you how to install the DF11 face pack. Let's get on with it. The DF11 face pack is a variation on the multitude of face packs that are available out there on the internet for you to download and improve your experience within Football Manager. But there are so many to choose from, you need to know which one's right for you. Now, I like the DF11 face pack because it looks like a Panini sticker as opposed to an action shot or um, just a player's head with no background. I think it looks better. Um, and it's also so many, it's so easy to install. So the first thing you're going to do is create a graphics folder. Now, as you can see, mine is already here. Um, but if it doesn't exist because you've not installed any add-on skins or you've not added faces before or any kits, you're going to want to create this. So if you create your graphics folder and then create a folder called faces. That's why we're going to leave that for now. It will be important to come back to it shortly. And once we've installed that, what we're then going to do is navigate our way over to df11faces.com. Now, the link to this is in the description to this video below. So please, 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 if you want to download it, feel free. Click the link and it will take you to the DF11 pack FM23. And as you can see, there are loads and loads of updates for it. So what we do, navigate to DF11 FM23. From there, this is how your players will then look. For me, it's just a smoother, more quality appearance as opposed to... The, like I said before, the faces without a background. I just think it looks a bit messy. Um, and whereas this one has a nice clean aesthetic to it. We scroll down and you see a nice picture of Pep Guardiola, who is um, telling you exactly what you're going to get. So with this mega pack, you'll get images for players, coaches, referees, and chairman for almost all of the leagues. Obviously, bear in mind, the lower down the leagues you go, the less likely it is you're going to have pictures for a referee or a chairman because, frankly, they're not as well known as, say, Man City's, Liverpool's owners. It's as simple as that. There is an FAQ that you can check out as well, as well as a mega pack checker. Now, you have two options on how to download it. You have your drive download and you have your torrent download. So if you click one of these two buttons here where it says torrent or drive download, you click them and it will take you to the options and it will take you to exactly what you're going to need. So if you want to do a drive download, you need a Google Drive, a High Drive or a OneDrive. Now, most people do have one of these. If you have an Android phone, you usually have Google. If you have Gmail, you have a Google Drive. What you're going to do is you're going to choose which one you'd want to do. Now, the benefits are that if you do a drive download, it's a smaller fee, but it does come in two parts. If you do it as torrent, it's only one file, um, but you are going to have to um, leave it running. You'll have to seed the torrent for other people to download. What that means is you will help support other users use this file. If you've never torrented before, there's nothing to worry about. You just put a client on your computer and that's it. So whichever one you choose, you're going to click one of these buttons here. Now, there is one thing to bear in mind. If you're doing a drive download, it isn't free. It does cost five euros um, and you do have to book a slot on when you are downloading it, as you can see in the con section here. If you just want to do it now, as when you, you know watching this video, you want to do it as you go, do the torrent download because it, A, it's free, B, you can download it whenever you want and there's no waiting around. So what you do, click download via torrent and it will take you to this page. Scroll down and it will tell you exactly what you need. Now you only need 32 gigabytes of free space on the computer to extract the file. It's gonna come in a zip file, so you will need WinRAR. Again, completely free software and very, very easy to install. And I'm gonna presume that you already have that installed. You do also have the zip software uh, that they link in the description here. You scroll down and it will say download DF11 Megapack Torrent. Click that and it will take you here. So what you can do then is click save. Once you open that zip file, it will ask you to connect the file to the torrent that you're going to download, and then it will download to where your normal downloads go. What you can do is if you use WinRAR, you can pick exactly where you want this to go here. Now, as you can see, I've already downloaded and installed this pack, and it shows 100%. I'm now seeding it for other people to be able to download. So what I want to do is right-click it and open containing folder. Now, just to speed up, I've, done, I've searched for it in my downloads folder. And as you can see, I have multiple different versions of it here. The easiest way to do this is to extract the files. Now, this will take you to this screen here. When you've done that, click Documents, find your Sports Interactive folder, Football Manager 23, Graphics. And that is why that Graphics folder and the Faces folder 
is so important because what you would then do is just highlight faces, click OK, and it will extract the folder for you. And as you can see, it's extracted here, DF11 Mega Pack Original July 2022. Now, you also see here near the FMU gens and the Pack 2. These are again from, um, the, they're a face pack, but these are for new gen players. There is a video up on that and it will be in the end screen. And I've also just tagged it above me now. So if we open the DF11, you'll be able to see exactly how they look. And that's what you're going to see. And they're going to take forever to load because there is so much data in this folder. It's scary. But once you've installed it into that folder, that isn't where the work finishes. There is just a couple more steps before you get to see Kareem Benzema's lovely face looking like this. What you'll need to do is go to your preferences within Football Manager 2023. Now, depending on what skin you're using will depend on where you find this here. Now, sometimes what you have to do is search in the top bar for interface and it will bring it up. But what you want to do is clear cache. So for me, I would click that button there and then I would reload the skin. While the skin reloads and it will take some element of time, it is now working to put those faces in the game, which is why it does take a bit of time. And from there, you'll see Kareem Benzema's smiley face staring down at you on the screen. And if I go to Real Madrid and I look at their players, it also has them here. And this is what I meant about it being uniform. It's clean, it's tidy, and it just looks a hell of a lot smarter than if it was the... Um, Players just cut out, they cut out faces. I don't, it, for me, it just doesn't work. It looks clean, smart, and really well um, displayed. And that is the same for all teams. If I go to Liverpool, go into the players, and they're all there, as you can see. Um, and this pack, I believe, let me check, does it include the under 21s as well? So that's how much detail has gone into this this year. Um, it is ridiculous how much work the DF11 have put into it. Please download it and I give it a go. If you struggle with um, installing this, give me a shout on Twitter and I will happily uh, jump on a Discord call and talk you through it. But it is pretty straightforward and this video should help you with that. Remember, the link is in the bio to download it. I hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it really helps you out and makes your game a little bit more in-depth and gives you another layer of detail that you maybe wouldn't have had without this pack. I'll see you in the next video, guys. You have a good day. See you soon.